Hey everyone, James here again. On Friday, we posted a video about how the US Department of Commerce was preparing to ban TikTok in the United States effective Sunday, September 20th. But if you survived the weekend, as I hope you did if you're watching this video, then you know that that didn't happen. And I'm here to tell you why. Now, if you've been following the United States government's war against TikTok, you probably won't be that surprised to learn that there was yet another flip-flop over the weekend. I mean, this story has changed so many times in the last two months, and it will probably change several more times before everything is said and done. But I'm going to lay out the facts as simple as possible. On Friday, the U.S. Department of Commerce issued a statement outlining how it planned to ban TikTok in the United States. Essentially, Google and Apple were going to remove the app from its stores and no longer offer updates, which would make it impossible for anyone else to download TikTok and have it on their device. Anyone that already had access to the app would be able to continue using it until November 12th as long as the service remained functional. Because of degradation happening from updates that they wouldn't be able to access, there was always a possibility TikTok would cease to work for them before that date, but there was still a hard cut off nonetheless. Now the reason for this ban is because President Trump is afraid of how the Chinese government could use data collected by TikTok's parent company ByteDance against the United States. Because ByteDance is based in Beijing, which means that the Chinese government could access the data that they're storing and then learn something about the United States or about people that work at federal agencies to use against us. They could get secrets in exchange for blackmail, things along those lines. Now the deal that President Trump always suggested from day one was that TikTok be sold to somebody in the U.S., which would mean its data is now hosted in the U.S., that would somehow relieve his anxiety over what could happen with the data that it collects. Now, there have been a lot of discussions over the past several weeks about who would buy TikTok. I mean, it's a very big, very popular platform with more than 1 billion downloads worldwide, so it probably has a pretty high price tag. And this weekend, on Saturday, the day after the U.S. Department of Commerce issued its statement, someone came forward. Well, actually, two companies. Oracle and Walmart. Yes, Walmart. You know, the, the giant superstore with the low prices. They're part of this now. Now, the development on Saturday, this deal which was approved in principle by President Trump, has caused all sorts of chaos around the world and in the music business. Basically, it said that Oracle and Walmart would be taking a shared 20% minority stake in TikTok Global, with the remaining 80% being owned by ByteDance. Additionally, Oracle would become the cloud hosting provider and processor of all U.S. data related to TikTok, meaning that all that information would be stored here in the U.S., which is exactly what the United States government wants. However, less than two days later, TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, issued a statement saying that it would not be sharing any algorithms or technology with Oracle. And instead, it would be allowing the company to process information to ensure that it didn't steal any secrets or take anything that it wasn't supposed to take from U.S. citizens. Now, President Trump was upset about this. And yesterday, on Monday, he said on Fox News that if ByteDance was going to have any role in what was happening with TikTok, then the deal wasn't good. It had to be solely Walmart and Oracle. Now, a Another part of this deal is this board that was created. Apparently, as part of the deal, there's a new board for TikTok Global with four out of the five members being American. Again, that's just one of the things that's been said because it's not exactly clear what's happening. The U.S. government seems to believe that it agreed to one deal, but ByteDance and the Chinese government seem to believe that a different deal is in place. And somewhere in the middle is probably the truth. I assume that Walmart and Oracle did buy a minority stake in the company, with Oracle taking 12.5% and Walmart taking 7.5%. But what happens beyond that is anyone's guess. The U.S. government is telling us that they need to have complete control of it, that being the U.S. companies. They need to control every end of TikTok in order for them to be cool with it, while ByteDance is saying that it wants to retain control but allow U.S. companies to make sure that they aren't stepping out of bounds. I think that what ByteDance wants seems more agreeable and seems like something that the company would actually agree to in order to keep TikTok operational, but again, it's unclear, and it probably won't be clear until papers are signed and motions are put in place. But for now, as a result of all this chaos, TikTok is still available right now on both the Google and Apple stores. Updates will be forthcoming and you can download those. So for the time being, TikTok is safe and the music industry, especially the hip hop and pop world, is breathing a big sigh of relief because again, it's been huge for music discovery and helping artists get millions of plays for songs that may otherwise go unnoticed. So for now, at least today, <laughs> TikTok is safe. Now, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that this story is going to continue to evolve and develop in the coming days. So if you want to know more about what's happening, please click the subscribe button down below. We bring you a ton of content here at Music Biz, three to five videos every single week, and we try to keep you in touch with everything happening in the music business. So if you haven't already done so, click that button. And if you have, well, then you have my sincerest gratitude. I'm really happy that you're here, and I'll leave you with this.
take care of yourself because you deserve it.